So I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown, right, of what the Gracies call the triple threat, right? And it's from the back position, right? So I'm going to have sits back. This is great for EBI rules, but it just gives you a couple ideas, right? I'm not going to go crazy in depth. This gives you a couple ideas what to do when you have the back, right? Usually when I take someone's back and we're starting EBI rules, my hand goes over top. It's like I'm stabbing them in the chest and I'm grabbing over top of my hand wrist. Right? I'm protecting my hand so I can eventually get that rear naked choke, right? Now, a lot of times we call this the strong side because my arm is already around his neck on the strong side, right? And then I can trap his arm, what have you, right? Get back to this side. Now we're gonna go to the weak side, right? When I go to the weak side, I don't wanna go and stay here so we can get down. I don't wanna be chest to back, right? So when I go to the weak side, Right when the referee says go, whatever, I'm gonna turn all the way so his shoulder is laying on my chest. Look where my leg is. My leg might even be hooking. Now I'm in triple threat position. What can I go to from here, right? Traditional, I could go in here, stay with the Kimura grip, leg comes over, right to armbar position. Then I'm working into my spider work, right? But that's only gonna be able to, you're only gonna be able to hit a move like that if you're going from the angle, right? Look how the angle I am. I'm not gonna be able to get my leg up any other way, right? I could also go rear naked choke. If I could trap his hand here, get my arm around. Sometimes a guy keeps his arm on me. I might have to trap one arm, right? Go defend the choke a little bit. Boom, right? Throw that leg over top, find it, put it back, and now I'm here, right? Now I'm looking for the RNC. Might have to throw it up and get in here, or, right? I'm already in position, right? Grace and Sid, they love this one. Thor, real good at it. I'm faking the choke. Maybe I'm going for it. This guy's got no neck. I just sit him up, grab onto my shin, step on it like a regular triangle, and then lock up my back triangle, right? So those are your three options when you have someone's back from the weak side. Is there more moves? Probably, but these are the three main ones. And if you know all three of these and you can rifle back and forth in between all three of them, right? You're gonna have pretty solid success from anywhere, right? I get to that angle, I'm on the weak side, and what am I going for? Arm bar. Usually I'll try to trap his arm here because I know I'm gonna have to take this to spider web push him down, leg goes over top, spider web him up, right? He ain't getting out. Or, right, I get to that side, and then maybe I have to figure out how to trap his arm so that way I can get a shot at getting a rear naked choke on him. Or, I could even be here and just throwing that leg up, break that grip, step over, back trap, right? So any one of those three, any one of those three, if you can go back and forth from arm bar to back triangle, and to rear naked choke, right? You're gonna set yourself up for success from the EBI OT standpoint.